This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we create a low pass filter. Find the body part of the low pass filter and apply the low pass filter to a noisy signal. So first of all I'm going to create some signal. So the signal I'm going to create is this. Create a side wave with a thousand eight hundred and one points. Then I'm going to create some noise signal. Okay, so A and B are separate. It's two different array. I'm going to add, up, add them up together. So it will be one signal. And I'm going to port the result at this point. So you can see like um the signal is quite noisy and but we we still able to see the side wave. Now I'm going to create a butterworth filter. B and A basically is the standard syntax. You will have like the numerator and the denominator. And if you need to create a butterworth filter, the keyword is butter. Now I'm going to create a first order filter. So it is one. If you want a second order filter, that could be two. Third order, three. Now comma. Here is something I need to explain. The next thing is ten. Ten in here. It's the cutoff frequency. I want the cutoff frequency to be 10 Hz, but I need to also concern about the sampling weight because the B and A in here create is to standardize. It's a standardized um, number for different um, um, sampling frequency. So I assume my data is sampling, like originally A and B is sampling at 1000 Hz. Now, I to create this divide is this ten hertz is a cut off, cut off frequency. Ten divided by a thousand, which is the sampling rate divided by two. Divided by two because uh, it is required by, by MATLAB saying like the sampling rate divided by two is using for the cut off uh, using for like create a butterworth filter. So. The first parameter in here is 1, which is the order of the Butterworth filter. The second parameter in here is the cutoff frequency divided by the half of the sampling rate. Okay, it's the cutoff frequency divided by half of the sampling rate. Okay, now I create this. So you may want to ask, hey, how can I find out the uh, body port? of the Butterworth filter, we will use this function. B, A, like B and A is what you create in the previous line. I assume there is like 5,000 points, I use 5,000 points to be in the body port, and the sampling rate is 1,000. Okay, just remind you one more time, B and A in the previous step, um, is is like uh, BNA in the previous step we generate it and then put it in here. The sampling rate in the previous step is a like, a thousand. The reason we have a thousand divided by two is just because it's required by MATLAB. Um, in here, first two parameter is based on the previous line. The third parameter is the number of points in the body port, and the last parameter is the sampling rate. Now. Press enter. Okay, there is uh, some key things we need to talk about in here because uh, we talk about um, the 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 cutoff frequency to be uh, ten hertz. So we we go to ten hertz. We we magnify this the magnitude. We found the ten hertz in here. Now we go to find this value. Okay, 
So you can see the magnitude in here is x is zero to ten, y is zero to minus three point oh one, um, which is telling us the minus three dB. Minus three dB is is a um, the cut off frequency at uh, the cut off frequency, which is like the fifty percent off of the power. So that means like this filter is meet our requirement. Okay, now after we see the minus three dB gain, and then I well we create a, a, a filter. We have the signal. How can we filter? the signal using our Butterworth filter. Okay, so that would be the next step. Apply the signal. To apply the signal, we use the function called filter. Now, uh, let me call filter the signal is equal to, now, let's start to use the function filter. V a this is what you create in two steps ago and then mix the signal okay now I do a port I put the original signal line which is like um make the signal okay this is original one now I hold on and I put the oh I have a typo in there but anyway um, you say another color now you can see that is boo boo which is like um the loyalty signal and the red in here is the filter the signal and now well, it may not be able to show well, so I'm just only put the field and the signal. And this looks like the side wave. It's a very clear side wave. And this is how we apply uh, the butterworth uh, butter filter and also like how can we create the body part for the filter.